If it is so unlikely, why are we in Yellowstone National Park? We can use what we learn to track other geological hazards and better understand volcanic systems elsewhere on Earth, writes visiting columnist Michael Poland. A common question asked of Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientists is, when will Yellowstone erupt? And the usual answer is that, any eruption, either an explosion or a lava flow, very unlikely to happen in our lifetimes. This is a true statement. Seismic imaging has shown that the magma chambers beneath Yellowstone are mostly solid. We know that lava flow eruptions occur in clusters separated by tens to hundreds of thousands of years. The logical, and frequent, follow-up question is, if there is so little concern about volcanic eruptions, why monitor Yellowstone at all? There are two very convincing answers. First, volcanic eruptions are not the only geological hazard in Yellowstone. Much more possibly on a human time scale damaging earthquakes and hydrothermal explosions. Strong earthquakes, such as the M7.3 Lake Hebgen earthquake in 1959, may occur once or twice per century in the region. The Lake Hebgen incident caused a landslide that engulfed an encampment, killing more than two dozen people, and also dammed the Madison River, creating a new lake, known as Earthquake Lake, which still exists today. The event was not related to the Yellowstone magmatic system, but was caused by one of many faults associated with the extensional province of the Basin and Range, which stretches from eastern California to western Wyoming. Similar strong earthquakes are expected in the future. Tracking seismicity and ground deformation in the region can help geologists better understand which faults are most active this results in a more accurate seismic hazard assessment. And when an earthquake does occur, data collected by monitoring stations across the region can provide insight into the processes that drive seismicity, invaluable information for investigating how earthquakes work so we can be better prepared for future events. Hydrothermal explosions are an underappreciated hazard in Yellowstone National Park. These explosions don't involve magma, Instead they occur when hot water beneath the surface suddenly turns to steam. The volume expansion accompanying the change from liquid water to gaseous vapor can result in an explosion if it occurs in a confined space. Some of the largest known hydrothermal blast craters on Earth occur in Yellowstone National Park, for example, Mary Bay which formed about 13,000 years ago. Explosions that create craters hundreds of meters in diameter may occur every few centuries or thousands of years.